Welcome back to UHM TV. Every semester we like to honour our alumni and learn how their experiences at UH have shaped their personal and professional lives. Recently, Donovan Terquesa had a chance to sit down and talk story with a distinguished alum who happens to be a decorated military veteran. Major General Robert Lee achieved the highest ranking title in the Hawaii National Guard before retiring in 2011. During his nearly 40-year career in the military, he wore many hats. He served as a nuclear engineer at the Pearl Harbor Naval Shipyard and as Homeland Security Advisor to Governor Lingle. He was also honored as a UH Distinguished Alum in 2006. Today we are joined by a distinguished UH graduate and former military leader, retired General uh, Robert Lee. It's an honor to have you here, sir, and it's great to have you back on campus. Um, welcome to UHMTV. Thank you, Donovan. It's uh, my honor to be here with you. So you served uh, 39 years in the military, um, but our viewers want to know more about the man behind the uniform. Uh, could you share a little bit about your background, your childhood, maybe where you were born and raised? Donovan, uh, I'm kind of a local kid, uh, raised in the public schools, uh, elementary, intermediate high school, McKinley High School, and then to a public university like the University of Hawaii. And uh, that experience has uh, certainly, uh, uh, I think, grounded me. Why stay in Hawaii? Why UH Manoa? So after graduation from McKinley High School, unfortunately, uh, during that time, the Vietnam War uh, was going through and we all knew we had it to serve, we needed to serve our, our country. So many of my classmates as well, let's, since we're going to the University of Hawaii, let's uh, join up at their ROTC program so maybe we can make a difference as an officer in the United States uh, Army. People know you by many titles and awards, uh, but in your opinion, what are you most known for? At this stage of my life, it's grandpa <laughs> with, the, with, with, with the grandkids. But I think um, my uh, last position as adjutant general in the state of Hawaii, uh, I, um, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity. I've got to thank um, the original members of my, the, my regiment, the Gopher Broke Soldiers, the 442nd uh, Regimental Combat Team, and in particular, Senator Daniel Inouye. So what inspires me personally about you is you're uh -huh. a person of color that worked up the ranks, earned his rank, uh -huh. in a majority um, white male dominated um, corps. Um, has, has race ever affected your career in any way? I, I think these World War II veterans for what they had to go through because I tell them that uh, you know because of your sacrifices you know you had to fight to get promoted to sergeant but you made it so that the future generations we could enjoy no 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 limits but the army it just turns out that if you look at the generals you have representations from all the minorities that serve in the country maybe some not as much as as we would like. We just got to make sure that the path to opportunity is really based on a merit system and your performance versus the color of, of, of your skin. As a distinguished UH alum, um, do you have any words of wisdom for our future graduates or the class of 2022? I wish uh, all the UH uh, graduates uh, much success in the future. Our state and our nation needs it. Thank you for your service to our country and for all of Hawaii. Um, it's Mahalo for being here with us at UHMTV. Thank you, Donovan. I'm honored. 